Good morning. This is Kathy Crowder's Mountain, North Carolina. I hope you're all doing well today. Sorry I missed Sunday's video, but I'm going to try to get this one loaded up at 3 o'clock tomorrow, which would be Wednesday. Can't promise, but I, I'm, that's my that's my goal anyway, to try to get that done. But I wanted to give you guys something that I know y'all gonna like. Look at this flower. Ain't she pretty? Now I saw a quilt that had a purple flower. And I wanted mine to be red because I'm gonna hang it out where I put the hummingbird feeders. Where we put the hummingbird feeders. And I thought it would draw more hummingbirds into the feeders if I had more red. So I planted red plants and then I was going to hang this out here too. And you can t kind of tell it's got a little bit of dirt on it already because <laughs> it's been hanging outside. Anyway, I thought y'all would like that. Uh, let me tell you a little bit what I did. Um, this was, this wasn't part of the quilt, the checks, and it just kind of looked blank in there, so I wanted to give it a little bit more, more color, so after I had the pattern drawn on, and after I had painted it, I come back along and measured my blocks every two inches, and painted every other one. Well, I had painted that, I painted that, uh, this is like a cream color, and then a, a, a light yellow. I just thought it gave it a little bit more dimension to it, but you don't have to do that. But I am going to do the blocks first while I show you the quilt pattern. Um, it'll just be so much easier for you to, to draw it, the grid first, if you want to paint it. Now, if you don't, don't, you don't have to worry about it. If you don't want blocks on yours. Well, I'm going to speed this part up. Because all I'm doing, this is a 36 inch piece of paper. I use a heat erasable pen to draw on my MDO. And I use a half inch MDO, that's that ma uh, medium density overlay sign board. That's what I use for my barring quilts. And so for you guys, I'm putting it on paper using Sharpies so that you can see the lines on the camera. So all I'm doing now is just marking every two inches. And I'm going to... Once I get every two inches marked on all four sides, I'm just going to connect the tick marks and have a two inch grid. There'll be six blocks across and 18 up because they're going to be two inches each. So I will fast forward all this. This is one color of red, and then these little uh, triangles right in here, that's two different colors, and then there's another color here. Now, at the end of the video, I'll show you what colors I used, but now I just used uh, four shades of red, but if you wanted purple, you just use four shades of purple or orange, whatever colors that you want. 
because it's your flower, right? <laughs> okay. So we're going to use these blocks as our measurements. So this, this block is two inches. So we want to go down three inches and make a tick mark. So I'm getting my ruler right on my line and I'm going to make a tick mark. Alright, now we want to go down to the fifth block. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to put a tick mark in, right in the center. So that's two inches. So we've got one inch tick mark right here. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to go down three inches. And then we're going to go down five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And put a tick mark right in the center of that. And then we're just going to, we're going to connect those tick marks. So what we're doing is making the center of the flower. Well, it, it's the the main part of the flower. That's going to be our darkest red. All right, now we're going to do that same thing at the top up here. We're going to go in three inches on both sides and make a tick mark. See? And we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to go in three inches on both sides and make a tick mark. So if you did not draw a grid, it'd be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Be twelve inches down, three inches in on both sides. Now let's just draw that line. Okay. Then, what we want to do now is go back, see this line here that we drew? That was the first two lines that we drew. We want to come in one, two, three, it'd be nine inches. No, six. One, two, three, or six inches. And go down. Three inches. Go, go down to your line. So come in three blocks or six inches and go down three inches to this line. And we're going to put a tick mark on that line and here. And we're going to turn it around and do the same thing. We're going down three, three blocks or six inches and we're going to put a tick mark on our red line. So that's three inches in. All right, now, let's t from that tick mark to the end of that first line that we drew, we're going to draw a line. And all we're doing is drawing the petals. Uh, all we're doing is drawing the petals. You go all the way to the end of your board. See that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight petals. We've got eight petals right there. All right. Now, a 
Okay, so we have we have eight points drawn off. Now we're going to make these boxes. See these boxes right here? Now the boxes are one and a half inches each. Yeah. They're one and a half by one and a half. So all we want to do is go up here to, to, to these corners, these four corners. That's where we're working at now. And I'm going to draw those in blue so you can see it, I hope. <laughs> and all I'm doing is just making a tick mark at one and a half. So you're going to have eight tick marks here to begin with. And I've already done those off camera. So now the only thing we need to do is we're going to measure one and a half this way. So let's get on our line. So um, this is that this is the box, our grid mark, our grid line. That's where we want to be. So that we can make this box straight. And we're going to measure it one and a half. And one and a half right there. So we've got actually three grid marks that's going to help make this line straight. And then we're going to just draw over to that one. So that box is one and a half by one and a half. So let's do it over here as well. Let's go onto the green grid mark and make a tick mark and then go up here to our other tick mark and make another one. Then we can line all three of those up and we know we've got our box straight. I'll do it again right here. Let's get on that green green grid mark. Yours may not be green, but mine is. And then we're going to go up here. And make another one. So that we can line all three of them up and they'll be straight. Now, we could line this one up, like we could have done that one that way, but we can line this up and get it right on that half inch mark. So now you know your line's gonna be straight when you go over one and a half. And you could line it up with that, this one. Still know that one would be straight. Once you get a couple on there and you know they're straight, then that'd be easy to do. So this lines up, and these line up, these line up, and if you don't, they'll be kind of wonky on you, and these line up. All right, now that's, that was these four. Now let's draw these. And the reason I like doing the little blocks first was because now I put my ruler down, just like that, and then I find this V. So I put my ruler down just like that and line them up. I'm going to make me a tick mark along that V where these line up. And then look, look what I'm doing. See these line up, and I'm going to just go to that, the end of that grid mark. You see that? Now this leaf petal, this petal we just drew, and that grid mark, it actually has it divided in half for you.
Now we're going to do that again. We're going to line it up on this side. Put a grid mark here, a grid mark here. Let's go on down here. Line it up. Grid mark, a tick mark. Tick marks and tick marks. Tick and tick. I'm sorry I didn't get a video up Sunday. It's just one of those times when I just couldn't get down here. And I've got enough, I've got barn quilts painted. Now, okay, let me hush. See how I did that one? I can line this one up. So, you know, people say I have a hard time lining their, uh, getting the crisp lines and, and everything lining up. I always try to line it up. When you're making something like that, I always try to line it up with something. So I've got that one already drawn. And if I do this, then I know these two line up. Same way over here. I got my tick marks and I'm going to draw it to that, but I can line it up with this, with this one. And I know that I'm going to have it straight. See that? Even that tick mark, see that tick mark right there? I went up above it just so that I could line that up. And I'm going to do that here. I'd rather have it lined up. And I'm going to actually make that one a little bit shorter. So I won't use that line right there. You see what's happening? You, you're lining them up so that they're all going to be straight when you paint. See that? Now again, this is one color and that's another color. So like if I'm, you want it to uh, the lightest color on the right, every one of them will be on the right. And the dark will be on the left, all the way around. Okay, so we've got our flower, except for the center. Except for this center. Now, let me show you how I did that. See these? lines here, the, the V's that we just made, these, the last petals. Right, I'm going to lay my roller down and let me think where I started. Now let's see. Here's where it started. Okay, see this V? I'm going to line the rollers up with this V and that V. And on this one, of those first lines that we actually drew in the red, I'm putting the tick mark. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do that same thing here. So you see these two and these two. Now we're going to do that again. We're drawing the center now. We got that, so we're going to line these up again. And put a tick mark here and a tick mark here. We're going to line the other side of it up. Tick mark here and here. So we can put a tick mark on those first lines that we drew. That was the very first one. And now, to get that the center of that flower, let me see if I can find something else to write here. Make it a black one. All right, we're gonna connect all those tick marks that we just made. Look 
keep writing on my roller. See that? We just drew this center here. That's what we just drew. All right. Now, I don't know if I've told you this or not already. See, all these grid marks are going to get rid of them, and I painted mine uh, yellow. But I took a honeycomb. The, it was a gold, and the name of it's honeycomb. But you wouldn't have to, it, just whatever color you got, um, light brown would do the same thing. And I just took the, let me tell you what I got. Let's see, I got one with the, and here's the one that I use a lot. <laughs> this is mechanical pencils. I used the top of it. It's a flat eraser. And I just dipped it into the, my little, I squirted a little bit of paint out in my tray and just dipped it and dotted it like that. You know, just kept dipping it and dotting it. If you have a little tiny, um, like one of those little tiny sponge brushes or something, little tiny sponge, it's round. If you had a little bitty one, that would work. Or the end of any kind of a pencil or eraser would be fine. All kind of little things that you can use to make stuff like that. Okay, so now we've got that, and I'll come back in a minute and show you, tell you about the colors. But let's get our yardstick back. Now, I made mine an inch, I think it was an inch wide. Let me look. Yeah, I made mine an inch wide. So what I did here, I just put my ruler down at a half inch right on that, this middle one. And I just used that, the end of that pedal, and I put my ruler down right there. So I got six, and I drew out <laughs> a half inch here and a half inch over here. So that's going to be my stalk. I went down here and I did the same exact thing on the bottom. I just put my ruler down and marked a half inch here and a half inch here. And then I just took my yardstick and connected those. We got our stem, and it's one inch. Now you can make yours wider or skinnier, or whatever you want to do. Now let me get. Uh, see if I can find a dark green. I want to make sure that I can show you the difference here. So here's what we're doing now. We're drawing these green. see that we're drawing these green petals so we went to the top okay this is the fourth one one two three four and at the top where that stem ends we're going to draw a leaf that's going to go across these two blocks. Not that one yet, just these two. Alright, we're going to do the same thing over here where that stem ends we're going across two to that corner. Then, we're just going to 
See this line? That's we're just gonna go across our grid line. All right, then we're just gonna go this first block here. We're just gonna do, go diagonally across on both sides. You see that? Now, that's this big leaf. To split it in half is easy. We're just gonna go from that corner down to there. See from here down to here. See that? So that would be a dark green right in here and a lighter green here. Alright, now let's go up. I went up like almost to, but on this pattern, you know, I told you I drew mine out before I come back along and put the blocks in so I to make them even I had to measure it all out again so for for our pattern here we're going to do it a little bit more simple we're going to we use these two to make this first leaf now we're going to use we're going to skip one row and use the next two so we're going to do one two three we're going to use row four and five and we're going to do the same exact thing but on this one let's do this first on the bottom of that fourth row we're just going to go from this end and we're going to go across four blocks that's eight inches right here so we're going to do the same thing we did down here so we just went See, we just went diagonally across that first block. This is our first block on our second row of leaves. And we're going up here. All right, now let's go across up here. Let's see. Here. We're going to go across here. We're going from here to here. All right. Now, this is our first, this is our row. This is our row four. And at the top of row four, we're going to connect it to that line. See, your green's going to come all the way out to here, like mine did. That dark green is coming all the way out to here. So don't think that there's a line missing. All right, let's skip another row and make our third row. All right. Skip this row, and we're going to make diagonal lines here. We're going up the one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seventh row. We're going to go up to the eighth row and draw a cross. Now, I kind of did that one a little bit different, but it come out. it's coming out the same way. So, as long as you have eight inches here and diagonally across, your last two on the row, go up, draw in the bottom of that row, and we're going to go from this corner down to our stem on both sides, and then we're going to go from that, the end of that one. Here. So I cut these in half, 
And that's what I've done here. Right here. So that's your leaves. Now, you can look at this pattern and you could say, well, I could make another row of leaves. And you can, if that's what you want to do. Or you can leave that row out if you think three is too many. Especially if you're doing, if you have a, a, a board that's only two foot tall, I wouldn't put the, sec the third row. I think it'd be too crowded. But you know, you do it your way because it's your art. All right. Take your screenshot. You might could get a screenshot of both of them. I'm not sure how that would work. Sorry. You might could. You might could. But let's do it this way. Take a screenshot there. Alright, now take one of this. Okay. Y'all want me to show you what colors I used? Alright, hang on a minute. Let me get them. Okay, here we go. For my darkest red, now. I'm showing you what colors I used, but you could use anything you want to do. But I had four colors of red. The darkest color I used, Showstopper. For the two, when I divided the leaves right here, now I know that's kind of probably hard for you to see there's two different colors, so you may want to try something different. But I used Whiplash, which is this one, and Red Gumball here. And then on the sides here, these blocks, I used Scarlet Sun. Alright. And oh, for the red, I mean for that dark yellow. Let's see, wait a minute. Got that one. For the dark yellow, I used Sunspark. And then these little dots, you know, I told you I used a honeycomb. It's a gold, but it's called honeycomb. But I think you could use brown or anything like that, really. All right, now for these uh, yellow blocks here, I used Sun Glow. And for the white, I used Mother of Pearl. Now for the green stem, I wanted something darker, so I used Luscious Green. And for the dark on the bottom, I used Park Picnic. And the lighter color is Lime Passion. That part picnic uh, dries a lot darker than what it looks like in the bottle. So you see I had four reds, two yellow, a gold, white, and three greens. But you can lighten up enough green to do whatever you want to do. Just make sure you mix up enough to have enough for your touch-ups or whatever, cause if you go to mix and you'll never get it, <laughs> you'll never get it to look right the second time. It won't look like the first time. So there's no harm in mixing up your paints. All right, um, I'm gonna try to get this video loaded today, so it'll show up tomorrow, which would be Wednesday, three o'clock. And if that works out for folks, I may start uploading videos on Wednesdays. Here, the thing of it is, it's time to start working in the yard. It's gotten pretty, and I can't stand being in the house when it, I I just don't like being inside when it's summertime or spring or fall. I want to be outside all the time. So 
I'm trying my best to stay on schedule with these YouTube videos because I promised so many people I'd do it. And I want to do it. I love this. But if I miss a week, don't be mad at me. Because <laughs> I've got some, I got some really pretty ones that I've done that I've got to, uh, all i got to do is just film the video. I've got, um, let's see. Got three, three, four. I got four. What? But one of them. One video is going to actually be two because they kind of match each other, and that might be video after next that I do that. But I, I'm going to try to stay on schedule. But if I can't during the summer, maybe I could at least upload two videos a month. And because y'all gonna be like me, you're going on vacation, you're gonna be outside playing, and you ain't gonna be all cooped up in the house painting the barn quilt or in the basement like I am. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all for watching this video, and I hope you come back, click the bell for notifications when I do upload a video, and hit the like button. And subscribe to my channel so you can help me help it grow. And I do appreciate every last one of you guys. I, I promise I do. And thank you for watching again. Happy painting!